Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alayja Sayyad. For those of you who are new and for those of you who are not new, then hey, welcome back. Okay, so this video is just going to be a vlog. I really don't know what's going to go on and what I'm going to name the title, but like like I always say in every video, y'all will see when y'all see it and whatever happens, happens, okay? Uh, it is currently Tuesday, May 30th and it's 5.27 p.m. and I just got out of school like an hour ago. I've just been here chilling, but last time you guys talked to me was a couple days ago when I was shopping and I was at the hair store and yada yada yada. Right now I'm about to go ahead and just show you guys what I got from the store because y'all seen what I got but y'all didn't really, y'all didn't really see what I got for real. So I'm gonna show y'all. I went to this store called Rainbows. They have a lot of cute stuff. They basically sell like Instagram clothing or like boutique type of clothing. So I got this jacket, this denim jacket. It's really cute. I guess you could say it's two-tone. And my mom said it was ugly, but I think it's cute. I think I can make it look cute. And I'm going to show y'all when I have it on. And then look at the arms. It's just like... I just feel like I can make this look really cute, even though my mom said it was ugly. She don't know how to dress anyway, so... I also got some shorts because some are coming up, and I don't have not one pair of jean shorts. So I just got these just to wear, just in case I want to go out somewhere. This crop top, this is like a basic. Like, you can never go wrong with a crop t-shirt. I'm pretty sure I got another one. I got the other color in white. Okay, so this is the last thing I got from Rainbows. Okay, I got these. Hold on, let me take it off. Well, this won't come off, but basically, I got these. Um, Yeah, my mom said these were ugly. My boyfriend said these were ugly, but I'll pop out with pictures in these. Y'all gonna be like, damn. And then, last of all, we're gonna do everything that I got from Target, because I did go to Target. I had got me some hyaluronic acid, some ordinary hyaluronic acid, and I don't remember where I put it. I bought it, guys. You guys see me buy it, but I have no idea what I did with it, so. And then I had ended up getting these, bro. Target is, Target on that shit, bro, because ribbed. These are cute as fuck. These were the only color they had, y'all. Like, they were all sold out of every color. And then again, got me another white tee. Like I say, you can never go wrong with a crop tee. Like, you never have too many basics, honestly. And that's really all I got. I'm just go ahead and, like, fill y'all in on everything that's been happening this week. Because I've been slacking on filming because I was literally hair depressed. I will not sit here and lie to you guys. It was not for no good reason. I was just hair depressed. I didn't want to film because my hair wasn't done. And I did my hair last night. Didn't finish till 4 a.m. in the morning. But it's done. Done. and it's real motherfucking cute y'all that's besides the point that's the whole reason why i wasn't filming y'all and i'm also a licensed finally a licensed braider i got my braiders license after finally two years because in the state of south carolina you can't get a braids license until you turn 16. let me tell y'all how i got my license because i didn't actually get it on my own i sent my application i went down to the post office filled out all of that stuff so i had to call them three times for them to send me the email for me to test like you not have to call y'all over and over again for y'all to send me the email and it finally sent me my email first time i took the test y'all let me tell y'all the braids license questions are really just sanit sanitary questions also questions about like the codes and shit and like state board stuff and like i didn't know nothing about that it gave us like videos to watch but for some reason my phone wanted to play the video so i couldn't really go off of the videos that they gave me to watch so and when i first took it i was taking out my chromebook and the chromebook just lost connection and then i was logged out of the whole like test before i even finished so i had to wait 24 hours to retake it and then i retook it and i failed i got a 61 and you have to get a 70 to pass and then my mom just ended up doing it for me and I, she got me a 91 and i finally like got my braids license because the questions weren't even about hair it was just sanitary questions i got most of them right but some of them did not make sense y'all like some of them were like shit that you have to know to go on the website and like look for that shit i was looking i couldn't find it but thanks to my mom she finished it for me and so now i'm a licensed braider also guys i finished my nail set course if you watch my last video then you know that i'm a i was in a nail set class I finally finished it and i completed the class and i passed my theory and my practical so now i'm a licensed nail tech guys 
And speaking of that, I was gonna film a whole separate video of me getting my nail tape license, but the video ended up not being long enough. I kind of liked some of the clips, but some of them I didn't like. So it was like, I couldn't make it into one video. So I'm gonna just insert some of those clips from when I had got my nail tape license right now. Okay, y'all, I'm so fucking mad because I just made this whole intro and I was not filming. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alay Sayeda. If you're new and if you're not new, then hey, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be getting my nail tape license, y'all. Like, ooh, ooh. I'm so excited because I've literally like hated this class for so long and now I'm about to get out. I'm just so happy to get it over with y'all and have such a freaking busy week this week and i was debating on if i wanted to make into one whole video or do separate videos and as you can tell i decided to separate them so this is me getting my nail tech license if you haven't been on my channel and you don't know everything about my nail tech course that i'm taking right now i'm currently 16 and I, i'm still in high school but at my high school they have like this program where you can like go to another school two periods out of your school day and go to another school to practice something else to get a certification in and i was in nail technology because i can't get in cosmetology till next year when i'm in a higher grade so i decided to take no technology and i actually like doing nails but i don't like of course i don't like my instructor so i'm just really glad to get this over with so i can actually start my nail journey and like start doing nails for real it's just so crazy to me how i've been braiding this entire time like i'm known as a braider and getting my nail tech license before I even get my freaking braiders license, which is so crazy. And if I didn't know, I did send out my application to apply for my braiders license, so not too much. I go to state board um, this Monday, and right now it's Friday. I mean, today's Friday, so when I go take my test next Monday, I'm gonna have to drive a couple, like a minute away from where I actually live to go take the exam. It's the practical exam, which is like hands-on. I had to go to Walmart the other day and get stuff so that I could take the, the exam with me. And in my class today, we're gonna like pack our bags so that we have everything we need when we go to state board my teacher's gonna help me and everything so i wanted to show y'all that i really don't know if i'm going to but i just wanted to let y'all know like what what's the process that's gonna happen and i'll take my theory exam may 18th which is a minute from right now because right now it's april 28th so i don't think i'm gonna put that in this video but like y'all gonna know i took it and i'm gonna pass because i didn't spend all this money just in that pass but i'm gonna talk to you guys whenever i talk to y'all because i really gotta go currently in a locker room filling out the permission forms because I forgot to get my mom to sign in so now I got a four choice signature okay y'all okay so I got this package so I got some stuff for my suite that I got from Amazon that's in here too but I also need to get my um my acrylic brushes out of here because I have to bring that for state board what the f I thought it was a 7-3. Are you serious? I just need something for state board, honestly. I can get me some more brushes later on. I also need to get some lotion. Oh, I made a whole list, y'all. Like, okay, so I need lotion, red nail polish, two white towels, and a sculpting brush. So here's my sculpting brush. I need two white towels, but I don't have one. So we're just going to see. Okay, y'all, so right now me and Gwen are at Chick-fil-A. We just eating, y'all. I just came back from Walmart, and in the last clip, I showed y'all what I got, but it stopped filming, so... I guess I just want to know what I got because I'm not showing y'all like that. Also, PSA is being shop right behind us. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, y'all, it's what time is it? It's 12 20 p.m. and we got to be there by 3 30, so it's like we have like a little extra time, but it's gonna take us about an hour to get there, so yeah. 30 and it's almost two hours. Really? I feel like I don't have my stuff packed right. Where the fuck is my manicure bag? Yeah, her, she had the whole suitcase. I love that. Um, mm -hmm. And we can always go back in our kids. Literally, you know? Mm -hmm. If my towel's in a bag. I'm gonna take this off. Y'all, we're here. Oh, look at Mary! Oh, we have to go? And she says, like, have all your stuff. Have your two phones and find me out. Guys, y'all see that? Y'all see that? I passed. Who passed too? Went passed. But she's basically a nail tech, y'all. She passed her theory. And her practical. Y'all gonna have to be looking with her soon. It's literally Tuesday, and this is the last week of my school year. Last day is June 2nd. I'm so excited because I take my last exam tomorrow. So tomorrow could really be my last day, but I don't know if I want to go. Um, I might go to school the last day, though, because I do want to film, like, a, a last day of school vlog or some, something like that. But i just been trying to get through this last week, y'all. Literally, it was so boring today. It was, like, the slowest motherfucking day ever at school. And I'm just waiting to take this last final tomorrow, and I'm probably going to barely even pass that. So I'm going to talk to you guys whenever I talk to y'all because right now i literally don't know what the fuck else to talk about so yeah 
So before I finish, I just want to go ahead and introduce y'all to this phone case brand called Case Lee. They were kind enough to send me two different phone cases to show you guys. But before I show y'all, I want to give y'all like a little bit of insight on the company. Case Lee is a fashion tech accessory brand that is located in Brooklyn, New York. Every purchase you get comes with a pack of three stickers. This is my three stickers. Each sticker is washable, usable, weather resistant, and waterproof. So it's like, these are not your ordinary stickers. Like you could put these on your phone case or whatever you want to put them on, but I think these are really, really cool. Every purchase gives back. 5% of every purchase goes to a charity, I'm pretty sure. And I think that's really, really cool because you don't know a lot of companies, especially a lot of accessory companies that like give back. And also they're actually really, really environment friendly because Casey is 100% carbon neutral. All cases are made with at least 50% of recycled material. So it's very, very like, it's environment friendly, like I would say. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the phone cases I got. I got this one, I think it's really cute. This is their classic phone case. I really like it because it has the blue stars and I don't have a lot of like bright phone cases because y'all know like I wear a lot of black. The thing about the classic collection when it comes to Casey's phone cases, they have a glossy finish. As you can tell, they have over 200 designs for classic phone cases. And I feel like that's really good because you know that every person wants something different. Like there's something on there for everyone. Like I promise y'all, if y'all go on their website, you will find a phone case you like. I'm gonna show you guys the other case that they sent me. No, my sister said this case was ugly, but it's this one, this little cow print. And I feel like it's so cute. Like I told y'all, I really like black. This is their bold phone cases. I really like this one because it's like extra protection and it has a matte finish rather than a glossy finish, which I really like matte too. Each scratch resistant so i feel like this is really good if you're a really clumsy person you should get a bold case but the classic case is really you know something lightweight but it's really cute and like i said it has over 200 unique designs for everyone so literally there's something on there for everybody so like if you feel like you don't like the phone cases i got there's other phone cases on the website that you might like so i really suggest you guys go in there and see if you can find something you like the link in my bio to go to their website and use my code as I laid your 30. I'll put it on the screen so you guys can get yourself a little discount. Thanks again to Casey for sending me over these two phone cases and you guys can enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, it's a brand new day. It is Thursday, June 1st, the first day of the month. Um, and it's 9 32 a.m. And it's basically technically the first day of summer for me. Cool ends tomorrow, but yesterday was my last day because that was my last final. It's the first day of summer. I don't want to be in the bed le being lazy, you know? So I'm finna do my makeup. And I also got a bit for hair store today, y'all. I feel like every vlog that I have, I'm always going to the hair store. I'm gonna take pictures today, then I gotta go to the hair store. Then I have this hair today. I'm about to go ahead and do my makeup. I'm kind of rushing right now because I took a long ass shower. So, just like that, we're done. Like, it's just pimple on my chin. Don't mind it, but other than that, like, makeup look nice. It's 1021, so it took me about an hour to do my makeup. So, I'll show y'all what I, what I want to wear. Okay, so this is my outfit. I decided to go with this top that I showed you guys earlier in the video. And then I went with these. And then I got these Converse's with this brown bag. I think I got this from Sheen. You have to be like, oh, I have so many shoes but no clothes, y'all. It's the total opposite for me. Like, I have so many clothes and no shoes. It's real simple, you know, I am going to the shop, so I decided I didn't want to do too much, you know, something a little comfortable. One thing I don't like about my outfit is how you can see my sports bra, but I'm most comfortable doing hair when I'm in a sports bra. If you know me, if you got big hitties like me, the moment you bend down in a regular bra, then she going to fall out of your fucking shirt. Especially with like a crop top. I'm about to go ahead and take my pictures and talk to you guys whenever I talk to y'all, so. Oh my freaking guy, y'all. I got so much to clean. Yo, I did not know I left my shop like this. Like, and it's like, let me show you what time it is. It's 1.25 p.m. and my client come at 4, so. We need to start cleaning. Okay, so as y'all can see, I finished cleaning. I even mopped and everything, y'all. Like, I deep cleaned the fuck out. I just got the little trash bag right there because y'all know I still don't got a trash can. So, I need that. And then I organized some stuff over here real cute. And then I put this up on my wall. I really love this pegboard. I don't remember telling y'all that I got it, but I see I got it. So, I 